Hey guys, welcome to Agrotech Tutorials and in this chapter 2 of Angular 8 unit testing with Jasmine and Karma, we are going to look at configuration. Now, objective of this video is to know how Karma and Jasmine are configured with Angular, what is the role of karma.connect.js and what is the role of test.ts. Now, in previous video, we had created a project called Angular Test Code using the angular cli command ng new now when we are creating a project using the cli command there are lot of files getting generated and these are all the basic files which contain configuration and some sample code that is useful for us so these are the number of files that are generated with the angular test code project now, one of the important file is package.json and package.json contains a part called dev dependencies. The dev dependencies are the part where the dependencies required for the development are included. And in these dev dependencies, we have something called jasmine core, jasmine spec reporter. So these are the dependencies that are required for jasmine, then karma, karma chrome launcher, karma coverage Istanbul reporter, Karma Jasmine, Karma Jasmine HTML reporter. So these are the dependencies that are required to execute Karma. Once these dependencies are included in the dev dependencies of package.json, there is a configuration present in angular.json which is actually for CLI commands which is called test. And in this test, there are some configuration present and out of them, there is one called main which act as an entry point for any execution. So the test.ts file is included as an entry point for karma configuration and then there is a karma config. So this specifies which configuration file is to be used for karma configuration. So karma.connect.js this is the standard file name that is used for configuration of karma. Now let's go and see what karma.connect.js is. So this is the configuration file for karma and it has some basic configuration parameters like base path which is required for base path of all the spec files, then the frameworks that are required with it, then the plugins, then the client which has a basic code for clear context which leaves the Jasmine spec runner output visible in the browser if it is set to false but if it is set to true then it it will clear out the context and whatever the output shown in the browser then the coverage istanbul reporter so this configuration is nothing but a reporter output then the reporters so what kind of reporters are present so list of them then the port where our output will be displayed colors whether it should include the colors or not then the log level now in this one it is set to config.log info so the information log is present there then the auto watch this will check whether the files are changed or not and if the files are changed it will help us to run the test immediately then the browsers that are required to run the test which by default there is a chrome browser included and you can include a lot of other browsers that are present then the single run and restart on file change so there are a lot of options included here and there are further more options that are present on this link so i'm going to open this link so this is the url that we have seen in the configuration file and here you can see there are a lot of options that are present that we can use for configuration now, one of them we had seen is to auto watch, enable disabling watching files and executing the test whenever one of these files has changed. Then the base path. So, there are a lot of configurations options you can use them as and when required. We will not be going in these all the options in detail, but so do remember that these options can be included in our karma.connect.js. Then there is a file called test.ts. This file is required by karma.connect.js as an entry point to execute the test and this file also loads all our spec files that is the testing files 
into our contacts that are later executed by karma. You can go through this file, but try not to change this file because this is a configuration file. If you change it and something goes wrong, it might harm your testing. So this is how when a project is created using angular cli command ng new so all the dependencies that are required for karma and jasmine are included in package.json there is a configuration present in angular.json along with karma.conf.js and test.ps files i hope you have understood this part if you have liked this video please do provide us comments that will help us to give you more quality videos and do subscribe thank you